Did you enjoy that worship music? Hey, 16 years ago, instead of doing crusades, we began to call it festivals. And we began to bring some of this noisy music, you know. I was used to the one St. Paul would sing, like Amazing Grace and things like that. And here come these guys with drums and lights and smoke and, you know. And somebody said to me, how dare you do that? What would John Calvin think? And I said, who cares? He's been dead for 500 years, you know. Outwardly change. Have you seen modern uh, young preachers? They come with jeans that got them from the Salvation Army, you know, with holes in them. They don't seem to ever wash. The beard is bedraggled, uh, you know. And you say, Lord, would St. Paul be this way? And the answer is, of course he would. He was in jail most of the time, you know. Tonight, I praise the Lord for these few minutes to bring glory to the Lord for the great leaders that the Lord has raised up. You know, our brother Mac Peer, Dr. Mac Peer, who is the, the genius that the Lord laid all this on his heart in all those years of prayer. I'm sure you said thank you, but I'm sure he's somewhere in the dark over there. I think we should give him a hand in the name of the Lord. Mike, I see it. Yeah. Of course, Dr. Mr. Bob Dahl, well, one of the men behind it on the board of directors, and Dr. A.R. Bernard, and, uh, and Mr. Phil Schaefer, so many men and women of God who brought us together. I mean, it's a glorious meeting, this one. Almost too short, but it's been a great blessing, hasn't it? 95 nations represented here is amazing. And I felt as I was going to bring this meditation tonight, the trumpet has sounded clearly. We go to the big global cities and by the grace of God, bless the global cities so that we bring the presence of Jesus Christ in love and action and in the proclamation of the good news of the gospel.